Hi everybody, Allison Murray, the Assistant Education Director here at NCC. I'm here today with Rich and Barb Keller. They are um, the leaders of our group Vintage Voyagers. So we're here to just chat a little bit about the Vintage Voyagers today. So let's just start out really basic. What is the goal of the Vintage Voyagers ministry? Well, the goal for the Vintage Voyagers was to have a group within the church, 55 years and older, senior adults, to have a way to kind of have some uh, camaraderie, meet together, have some fellowship, and be able then to do things uh, for people in the church and then outside in the community. So we know that the Vintage Voyagers reach out to our more seasoned population. Mm -hmm. What other things do the Vintage Voyagers do that maybe we don't know about that they might do for other NCC members or the community? Well, Allison, one of the ministries that we offer to church members is that we provide a meal for families who have lost a loved one, whether it's taking food to their home, uh, between visiting hours at a funeral home, or we have even done a lunch here at the church um, in the fellowship hall, up to 50 people, um, uh, as like right after a memorial service. We have placed small bottles of apple juice in the refrigerator in the cafe kitchen to be used when there's a need for anyone who may be a diabetic, and we have it marked for diabetic use. In the past, we have hosted blood drives. Uh, we have one coming up in uh, December, on December 4th, and uh, we have made blankets for veterans through the company Fleece Con Connections. We have helped to serve evening meals at Sunshine Community Ministries in McKeesport. Uh, last winter we made up 36 blessing bags to be given out to the homeless in the Sunshine neighborhood. This Christmas we'll be filling stockings for their after school tutoring program for the children and also for some of the adults in need. We have collected household items for Blackburn Center who provides help um, for victims of violence. We have gone to personal care homes and have had sing-alongs, and even Elvis has joined us. <laughs> we began a monthly prayer meeting a year ago at the new uh, Dairy Queen on Route 30, but then the lockdown <laughs> came. <laughs> we have hosted concerts at our church. Um, we've taken van trips to Camp Christian. We've gone on fun field trips. Uh, now, since the pandemic has hit, we've had to alter our plans and activities a little bit, but um, we're basically not traveling anywhere right now in the immediate future, but we're keeping our monthly gatherings going on as best as we can. That's great. Why did the two of you choose to become involved in Vintage Voyagers? Well, when we, I retired and we moved to the area here in uh, 2016, we were looking for a church and then we were looking for a way to meet people kind of our age and get acquainted with the area. And uh, so we joined the church and then we joined Vintage Voyagers and uh, about two years later we were asked to take over the leadership role. How do you see the gospel message? being brought out through the Vintage Voyagers? Well, any outreach that we do, whether it's in the community or for the community, we do it with the love of God in our hearts in hopes of spreading the good news to others. Um, our group really enjoys helping others, collecting items for needy folks, and blessing others with our talents. So what blessings have you seen God give people through the Vintage Voyagers? Well, folks are being able to make friends with, uh, you know, the same age group, do some things together where they haven't before, and so through that, and then working together on projects and things, it just, you know, brings a blessing to you like that. Absolutely. And how about personally? What personal blessings has God brought you through the Vintage Voyagers? Well, even as a young adult, God gave me a heart for meeting the needs of senior adults. And um, this has been a dream come true for me because I've always wanted to be able to be involved with the senior group and now we're leading the ministry here at NCC. And now since I became a senior adult, <laughs> I get to hang out with these wonderful people who are full of wisdom and full of fun. And I'd like to add just one little last comment here about the Vintage Voyagers. I don't want anyone to be afraid of the word vintage 
because the last time I looked up that word in the dictionary, it says, one of the definitions that I really latch on to is of the highest quality. And I believe that we are a group of high quality folks and um, we are young at heart here and uh, we would just love to have you join us. So it definitely sounds like a group that anyone would want to be a part of. So how can someone get involved? Well, they can contact us personally. The church directory has our phone numbers, emails, text. If they can't figure out how to do that, they can call Rhonda, the church secretary. She has all her info, and uh, we'll be sure somebody will find us. All right, great. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Yeah, great. Thank you.